Right now you are probably sitting down watching this video. Sitting can be a nice break from a busy day. However, considering that many of us spend their entire work day at a desk, one has to wonder how sitting can affect your body and your health. This video will highlight the science behind what happens to your body when you're sitting, describe the correct postures, and go over different health implications and prevention techniques. So let's get started. While there is a lot of factors involved when measuring the required time for sitting, this can include your gender, age, race, and other physical activities, the scientific community has agreed that spending more than 6 hours per day just sitting is associated with many health implications. It was not until 2009 when a Canadian study was published in the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sport and Exercise, which found a close relationship between long hours of sitting and an increased risk of death. The study followed 17,000 Canadians for more than 12 years, found that there were 951 deaths in men and 881 deaths in women over the years. Most of these deaths were associated with cardiovascular diseases, all forms of cancers and other diseases. So the real question is, how is sitting down for an extended period can be harmful to us? Our bodies are built to move, and this statement is supported by the way our bodies are structured. We are composed of around 700 skeletal muscles and 360 joints that allow us to perform easy and fluid motions. Our spine is a long structure that is made of bones and cushion discs that allow for some flexible motion like extension and flexation. Joints, muscles and ligaments hold these structures together. Right now, a lot of you might be sitting with a curved back and slumped shoulders. While we all enjoy this posture, this type of sitting puts uneven pressure on your spine and over time this causes wear and tear on your spinal discs, muscles and ligaments. This position also shrinks your chest cavity and puts pressure on your lungs, which means that you will have less space to expand when you breathe. This is a problem because less oxygenated blood will be circulating in your body. We all have experienced numbness and swelling in our limbs when we're sitting for a long time. This is due to vein, arteries, and nerve in your body being temporarily blocked due to limited blood flow which results in slower nerve signaling and a potential nerve damage. If you experience these symptoms, please talk to your health provider. In the cellular level, an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, which exists in our blood capillaries, is known to break down fat bodies. This enzyme is shown to be almost deactivated or stopped during prolonged seating times. As a result of this, your metabolism, for example how fast you can burn fat, is also decreased. A study published by the American Heart Association has also linked lipoprotein dysfunction to an increase in total cholesterol, a form of fat, blood sugar, and insulin resistance, which causes type 2 diabetes. What effect does this have on our brain? Oftentimes, we are forced to sit down and work for long hours. However, this has been shown to lead to a loss in concentration, which in turn may diminish one's working efficiency. Many studies have shown that long hours of sitting is significantly tied to many forms of cancer, cardiovascular diseases, chronic diseases, pancreatic overload, and obesity exposures. An example of this is a known disease called deep vein thrombosis, DVT for short, that is caused by a blood clot in the vein usually located in the leg due to bad blood circulation and as a result of lack of motion. This disease is shown to be very prevalent among passengers who sit for long flights without any significant motion. Luckily, the solution to this dangerous threat are intuitive and straightforward. While we all need to be seated for long hours, try to adjust your chair to a vertical spine posture. When you're sitting down, you can also lift each leg to stretch out the calves and hamstrings. Try another exercise, squeeze your thigh and calf, focusing on each part of your leg. Tight the muscles for a few seconds and release tension. Repeat until legs feel relaxed. While sitting, you can also raise your knee one by one toward your chest to promote circulation. And finally, take a break and stand up. In the end, we should all appreciate that our body is made for motion and not stillness. And since the video is almost over, why don't you stand up and stretch right now? 
If you have any further questions about the topic, please don't forget to ask your health provider. If you like this video and want to see more, please visit our Demystifying Medicine channel and subscribe.